I think everyone should see this video. It's not about race. It's not about race. Hold on a second. Just got done watching the women's basketball final for college hoops. Did you know? And there was a disrespectful act done by an LSU player to Caitlin Clark of Iowa. Oh my, what could it possibly Angel Reese knows a ring is coming. Now this hey, is priceless. We do not want to teach this at all for young athletes. Oh wait, we don't? As Caitlin Clark, yes, may have been cocky and may have done things to you know, the other team in, in previous occasions. Previous but occasions does not like two be days ago. After a win is done, that you go over to the opponent that dropped a massive amount of points on you and come at them and taunt them. Oh. Dis disrespectful and a classless act by LSU here. <gasps> disrespectful and classless? But wait a second. We love to see a good clap back, right? And no one does that better than Caitlin Clark. I mean, just a couple of days ago in her game against Louisville, she basically told Haley Van Lith, you're down 15 points. Shut up. First, I'm going to talk to some of her teammates oh. to see what are some of your best Caitlin clapbacks or yeah, best right. motivations. Let's see. Let's find out. The last game when she was like, you can't see me. Oh. <laughs> that really got everyone fired oh. up. Oh. she gets an and one, she like, go like this and come to the bench. And be like, let's go. Oh. Mm. That's really mm -hmm. fun. Mm. <laughs> she gets pretty fiery in our timeouts. You know, she might even clap back at us because she wants, she wants us to play with that same fire. You know, and sometimes we're pretty even keel. Why are you that word again? She's like, let's go, come on, grab on the board, whatever it may be. She always will just come to me like after a timeout, before I'm at like a tough stretch, we think, and she'll just like give me a little bit of extra reassurance. Honestly, I think the last leading game, I love that she did the John Cena thing. Mm. I think that was so cool. So it's cool when Caitlyn does it and she gets a whole segment on ESPN about it. But it's a problem when Angel does it and she gets called disrespectful and unsportsmanlike, yeah? But hold on, let me let, me let Angel talk. But mm. so when other people do it, y'all don't say nothing. Oh no, baby girl, they say something. They say, good job, Caitlyn, and she fires up the team. But go ahead, I'm gonna let you finish. Y'all don't say nothing. So this is for the girls that look like me. That one that's going to speak up on what they, they believe in. That's what I did. It's unapologetically you. And that's what I did it for tonight. This was for the more than, it, it was bigger than me tonight. That's it right. was bigger than me. Twitter is going to go in a rage every time. And I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I feel like I've grown, helped grow women's basketball this year. I'm super happy and excited. So I'm looking forward to celebrating in the next season. Boom. Baby, when I tell you I love Gen Z, I love Gen Z because they are not afraid. They are not afraid to speak the truth. They are not afraid to speak the truth in public. And they might be our only hope left to keep us from turning into this crystal fascist hellscape that these old white people are trying to turn America into. But hold on one more thing. I the truth of it white people you constantly and consistently move the goalposts to accommodate your mediocrity y'all were all about trash talking when caitlin and the majority white team of iowa was on top but as soon as black girls get out there and sun you and let you know for a fact you cannot see us in this sport you get in your feelings when y'all disabuse yourselves of the lie of white supremacy we'll all be better for it trust me when caitlin was on top Trash talk was fine and worthy of a highlighted segment on ESPN. When Angel was on top, trash talk is unsportmanlike. Please fix yourselves because the hypocrisy is exhausting. At the end of the day, I wish you all would just say what you mean and mean what you say. Because writing all these think pieces on sportsmanlike conduct and tying yourself in knots using circular logic to justify your hypocrisy is ridiculous. Just say you think Angel Reese is a uppity n